Okay, continuing along now with project eight. This I called the quarter circle, and we took a circle and divided it up into four equal parts, threw away three of them, and then took the one part and copied it over four times, and then arranged them into various four-way um, twisting and turning and flipping and rotating Oops, this is um, the photographic um, mirror image one. So here we go. <laughs> that one was mislabeled. Uh, so then after, in, in one of the possibilities, we've got this scallop that goes down at an angle. We can start playing coloring games with that. And in this case, it's just in every other fill. One thing to point out is that you can't have any holes in the edges of where the lines come together or else the color would fall uh, or flow through. So let me just keep moving here. Um, right, yeah, I call that the double-ended axe head version of the quarter circle. And we've got a couple of, of these mixed in with Project 8. So we could be off. These are nice, though. This is taking a photograph, mirror imaging it, then flattening it, then rotating it in divisions of 90, first 90, then 45, then 22 and a half, using layer blends each time, and just using four instead of um, now taking this and multiplying it out. So, uh, they're really nice, though. So, a little confusion about the project number. Uh, this one we called Anomaly and Project 9. Um, sort of the black sheep in the family. You're going along, and this is a de design device that, uh, once you notice it, will stick out everywhere. Um, in advertising on TV and all kinds of um, applications to this, but um, going along with the same M here and then reversing one into a W and coloring it. Okay, here's a little better. I think I like that the grid better. Same idea. In this one, we took a photograph and deleted the white background using the magic wand and then copied an apple turning one green. So, and here she put it on a gradient background. Again, variations, variations, play with it. Um, okay, so here's back to the quarter circle. I guess it's called Project 10 in this case. So 8, 10, whatever. <laughs> but in this case, um, uh, so the first um, scallop was then um, free transform down to one quarter size. I think I showed that in the video. And then it was copied and put out so that we have all these cells. And then this is a gradient monochromatic color study. So monochromatic color taking a blue and this kind of grayed down blue and then having lighter and darker values that step in perfect sequence, okay, and bring the light towards the center. So we're playing, and this was analogous colors, so which are colors that are fairly close within 30 degrees, say, on a color wheel, and this would be the warm set of the yellows, oranges, and reds, um, and then it's organized radially as we come towards the center, okay, using the axe head. Um, quarter combination. So this part of the um, project is important to not only do the quarter circle, um, but also to uh, do two color studies, a monochromatic gradient and a analogous color series. Okay, here she's stepping uh, saturation instead of value 
towards the center. So this was again one original unit and then this gets multiplied to get into um, uh, these canvases that have more units. So you just have to do this. Okay. So analogous color. Ah, complementary color. So taking opposites on the color wheel, in this case yellow and purple, and um, uh, that has a very different look too. It's very energetic. So. Um, here we have a monochromatic with a richer, more saturated, darker color palette and the introduction of this one gray in here. But notice uh, she's doing lots of variations here. Okay, we're on to project 11. Take a curvilinear letter form and explore dividing it into uh, 6, 8, 10, or 7, you, can, you know, whatever you want to divide it into and rotating it around a common center. Um, so, and then the last one, copying this and rotating it half of this amount. So in this case, this, there's six of these here. So each one is rotated 36 degrees, right? Six into 360. And then take that and copy it and rotate it half again as much right over it. Another six way simple letter S in um, Arial. And some variations. Gradient background, um, layer blends, This is a cropped letter form that's mirror imaged. Okay, and then those get repeated out to larger. Here we have a layer blend again of rotating, copying and rotating it. So all these little variations are, um, yeah, various layer blends, various, um, okay, this project um, is new with uh, the last two years of Photoshop is they've built a Mandela, I call it, uh, symmetry um, into the program. So you can take the pen or pencil or a brush, not the pen tool, but a brush or a pencil and just start drawing and it'll mirror image it for you um, depending on how many units you set it. So in this case there's three, four, five, eight, and eight way symmetry. And then we played color games with that after we drew a few of those like this. It's a lot of fun. You know, so you take the bucket tool and then fill in symmetrically the same shape. Here we have an analogous colorful um, palette. Okay, project 13, we drew a line and we were playing with the idea of uh, spirals and writing a, a brief Photoshop script using actions. So in this case we drew a line and then the action was to copy the line and rotate it 15 degrees and shrink it by 15 percent and then stop the action and then key, every time you hit play it would spit out a new line, rotate it, and shrink it. So here's a random line, she did that too. Um, and here she just drew a very simple heart and then applied that same action to it to see how it might spiral in.
Again, play and variations. Uh, copy it, um, rotate it. Another random line. And here it is mirrored, same one. Okay, and these, uh, the star shape came out of the shapes tool in Photoshop. And same action applied to it. And then we took a photograph. Uh, we played with the birds. This is a um, flamingo. And then um, applied that same action again to watch it shrink and rotate. And then placed it into a, another background like this, Project 14. See. Yeah, it's nice. The uh, gradient background and the way this is rotated 180 degrees and it's the communication between both elements here. Say just playing with um, some different backgrounds, playing with copies and scaling it. Just play. Play is the whole thing. So Project 15, we started to get into how do we describe dimension now and demonstrating how to create a sphere on this photo background and light it with a, uh, this light here and create this shadow. Um, it's one way to give us the impression of three-dimensionality using highlight and shadow. And then proximity is another way of, of also describing that. So we'll finish up with this project and then we'll make another video. Uh, so take this and repeat it, um, shrink it, move it behind, and rinse and repeat. And we get a sense of depth as that Again, just playing with your units, playing with your background, and huh? Okay, yeah, this one had a lot of babies here, and then we uh, modeled a cube uh, by putting out three planes, uh, squares, and then using the free transform to. Um, skew it to create this illusion of a cube. So let me pause right here as we're going on 13 minutes and see you in the next video.